Carl Frampton scores points victory over Horacio Garcia in Belfast homecoming bout. The Belfast featherweight shook off some ring rust in a bruising affair with a granite-chinned Mexican. The scorecards read as a wide win for the hometown hero at the SSE Arena. But it was not as easy as they suggested as Frampton had to dig deep late on after Garcia lived up to the Mexican reputation of being a tough nut to crack. I didn't want an easy fight, said Frampton. I wanted a hard fight and that has got the ring rust off. Now I want the big boys in the division. I got caught up in a fight there, I was boxing brilliantly at the start. Frampton was back in the ring after what he himself called a ST 2017 that started with a January defeat by Leo Santa Cruz in Las Vegas. Frampton was back in the ring after what he himself called a ST 2017 it was followed by his July opponent Andres Gutierrez slipping in the shower the night before their fight which forced the bout to be cancelled. Then he split with manager Barry McGuigan and trainer Shane McGuigan, the family duo who had played a part in him becoming a two-weight world champion. But he showed little effect of the long absence from the ring in the early stages as he calmly picked his shots and landed with ease. The left hook to the head was a valuable weapon in the first before he loaded up and rocked Garcia in the second. The Mexican was not put off though as he continued to press forward against the home favorite in a noisy atmosphere. Frampton landed another impressive right in the third before he took a few shots on the ropes in the fourth. The Belfast fighter responded with a good right hand followed by a left uppercut. It looked at this point it was going to be an easy return from Frampton as he was roared on by his loyal support. But Garcia, who was being cheered on by manager and boxing icon Saul Canelo Alvarez at ringside, started to respond in the fifth. Frampton wasn't helped by a cut over his right eye but Garcia deserved credit for his pressure in the sixth even if a right uppercut from the former world champion was the best shot of the three minutes. Then the home fighter was on the floor in the seventh when he was caught by a left hook and then slipped. He pleaded with referee Victor Laughlin that it was a slip but, despite not being hurt, the count caused concern among the 9,000 strong crowd that this was going to be close. Frampton responded in the eighth by going back to counter punching on the outside and also landed a good right when he did get in close. But the jackal was tiring fast which only gave the relentless Garcia, who was once a sparring partner for the former world champion, more encouragement. Frampton showed he felt it was close as he came out firing in the 10th as he dipped well into his reserves to pull out a good finish. It was more than enough to take it on the cards and it was a good fight if Frampton wanted to prove to himself he can still dig deep if needed. But the bigger tests will come next year when he goes back up to world level in the featherweight division.